Hey guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. Today we're going to test out the MaxFly CG Tour golf ball. A lot of people say this ball is soft, goes long. I'm going to test that out for myself. Check it out. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in, gotta hit more greens. All right, guys. Looks like we hooked the ball a little left of the fairway. We hit a pretty decent shot. Go up there and get after it. See what we can do with the MaxFly CG Tour. My watch says we got 143 to the middle of the green, 158 to the back. Pins in the back, and it's uphill. Don't want to go short, so I'm going to go with the seven iron. Okay, we didn't hit that very well. We left it front, right, center, right, just a little off the fringe. So get up there and see if we can get up and down. So far, this MaxFly CG Tour ball plays pretty good. Outside of that bogey I just made, it had nothing to do with the ball. Cover feels pretty soft, not super soft, but pretty soft golf ball. I got a good feel, it reacts pretty good so far. Let's play a couple more holes, see how it plays. All right guys, now we're gonna play the par three seventh hole here at Woodruff Golf Course. A watch tells me it's 180 yards to the middle, pins in the front, but it is into the wind. So it's gonna play right around, right around 180, maybe a little longer, but I'm gonna hit a four hybrid, See how this ball plays. Okay guys, I am working on a little swing change here. That ball from four hybrid probably flew close to 190, which is further than I really fly that club. So I kind of get, got to get used to my new distances. Uh, however, I'll make a video on that too, on what I'm doing, but let's get up there and play. Hit it on the back left portion of the green. Let's go see what we can do. All right, guys, I got a long putt here. Again, didn't realize I can hit this club that far, but maybe I'll pick up a little distance with this swing change. But this Tour CG golf ball, if you look at it, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's got a nice alignment aid on it. The cover is off-white, similar to what you would see in like a most, most Tour balls, like a Pro V1, Pro V1X. So it's not a real bright white. It looks good. Cover still feels pretty soft. Feels like I'd be able to bite a chunk out of it. Not gonna do that though. If you've watched these videos before, you know that lag putting is not my specialty, but I have been working on it and was able to get a good lag putt there. A few feet from the hole to see if we can finish this out. We'll play another hole with this MaxFly CG Tour golf ball. All right, we almost lifted it out there, but we got it in the hole. Now we're going to go to a 290 yard par four. I'm liking what I see with this golf ball. It's gonna be interesting when I look at the numbers, but so far I wouldn't hesitate putting it in my bag. The funny thing is it feels similar to like that Spalding SD Tour ball that I did a review on, but that ball was only $18.99 a dozen, I think. And I really like that golf ball. I think a lot of you like that golf ball also. This ball feels similar, feels good. Let's get to the eighth hole. All right, guys, we bunted a little draw down there left side of the fairway. This hole is playing about 290. So I'm imagining we pins in the back. So we're maybe in the 80 yard range, 70, 80 yards. Let's get to it. See what we can do. Right there guys never up never in we smashed it through the break there it was really just a maybe a ball outside left and uh, we hit it a little too firm and pulled it a little bit 
but we got another par so kind of liking this ball so far therefore i'm going to play one more hole with it 390 yard par four uphill okay guys that ball felt really good felt good off the club face not super firm get it let's hope it went far as i think it did at least far for me let's see where it's at All right guys, there you have the on-course performance of this MaxFly CG Tour golf ball. It plays very well to me, plays similar to a Pro-V, even similar to that Balding SD Tour ball that I reviewed, down to the cover feel. I guess the difference between that and the ST Tour is the lettering that you see on the golf ball. It actually looks, looks like a better, higher quality ball than that SD Tour ball looked, the font and everything like that. But playability-wise, it played very similar. I'll do some indoor testing on this golf ball. Let's put it up against the uh, maybe the Pro V1 and that SD Tour golf ball. Catch in a few. From 50 yards, the MaxFly Tour launched almost three degrees higher than the Pro V1. The spin difference was really just negligible with a steeper descent. So the MaxFly Tour performed really well from 50 yards here. With the seven iron, the Max Fly Tour was only one mile per hour slower in ball speed. The launch was about a degree higher. Spin was less than 100 RPMs difference. The descent again was steeper with a higher peak height. So in all, it was only a few yards shorter than the Pro V1 with the seven iron. With the driver, again, only a mile per hour off on the ball speed. Launch was about a half a degree higher with less spin. But again, it's pretty darn close within 150 RPMs. The descent was the same. Peak height a little bit lower for a total that's within a couple yards of the Pro V1. Comparing that SD Tour ball, Balding SD did launch a little higher and had a few hundred RPMs more spin with a couple yards shorter total distance. All right there, guys. Hope you enjoyed my video on the MaxFly Tour Ball. To check out a video on the Spalding SD Tour Ball, a ball for under $20 a dozen that I really enjoyed, click the video above. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Mr. Short Hitter, out. My game's obscene now. Hooks and big fades, it's not my day now. Why did I play now? Just clear my head. Get back in this. An outside shot. You still can win this. You run off birdie.